Chuck, thanks so much for sitting down with us here today. Happy to be here. So the first obvious question is, in July, you had noted that you had a $1.96 million write-down. A large part of it was due to, to the, um, the Penasquito mine, uh, which I always tend to <laughs> pronounce incorrectly. But uh, can you run us through that a little bit? Uh, ultimately, do you think this was uh, you know, the, the only choice? I know it was a non-cash write-down. Sure, and, and what happens uh, with these assets when the book value is originally set up, it's based on the price that was paid in an acquisition back in 2006. And at that time, uh, a certain portion of the purchase price was assigned to exploration potential uh, rather than goodwill. And at that point in our market, uh, exploration potential was being valued at a lot higher price than it is today. And so uh, we look at that market and, and assign a value to the exploration potential and in combination with our auditors concluded that because of that reduction in value we needed to bring the book value down. Uh, it's interesting that it didn't have any reduction in the actual um, estimated value of the production from the, the mine itself. It was more the uh, future exploration potential. So it leads into the obvious next, next question, which is uh, this year, I mean, in April, we saw the huge tumble in gold prices on the futures market. Uh, the summer was a little bit choppy. 1,200, 1,300, 1,350, wherever it is. Uh, a lot of people might be wondering for, for you, if you continue to see current costs or possible lower costs, uh, how are you guys going to handle it for your operations? Well, we're very well positioned. You know, we came into this drop in the gold price with a great balance sheet, very little debt, uh, you know, a couple billion dollars in the bank and a lot of liquidity. In addition, we've got uh, overall low cost portfolio. This year's a little higher than expected, but that was always as planned given some great cycles we're in. We look for much lower costs next year and going forward. And then we're also building three new, very high quality projects, meaning low cost. And so I think we're positioned outstanding in an outstanding way for the future, not only at a $1,200 gold price scenario, but really at any conceivable price uh, that we might see. And you mentioned positioning. I mean, I've spoken to a number of analysts who have talked about that the gold miners didn't hedge themselves enough when prices were zooming higher, and now they're falling back. I mean, uh, are you guys considering uh, any type of hedging? No. Um, you know, I've been in this business a long time. I saw uh, what were perceived benefits of hedging back in the 90s, and then when the gold price turned up, uh, some of those companies got into a lot of trouble having to cover those hedges. And our market, our investors, do not want us to put a cap on their exposure to gold price. That's why they buy our stock, is to have leverage not only to our operations and what we're doing today, but to the increased margins that will come when the gold price goes up, and if we hedge that, we take that opportunity away from them, so we're not going to. Sure. So where would you say that your minds are positioned on a cost curve? Uh, overall, we're very much at the uh, lower end of the cost curve. Now, we do have some higher cost minds, and this uh, drop in the gold price has actually been quite um, instructive for them because when they're, they need to go back and run a mine plan at $1,200 gold versus 16 last year, it really highlights uh, some of the marginal ounces that they probably shouldn't have been producing anything in it anyway and I think it makes them better and so we'll come out of this actually a much stronger company than uh, than before. And where do you guys think uh, cost is right now per ounce of gold for you? Well we're guiding for this year between a thousand and eleven hundred dollars all in costs that includes sustaining capital exploration GNA everything and uh, as I said earlier, I expect that to come down below 1,000 uh, in 2014 and, and to stay uh, much lower going forward. So that locks in a pretty nice margin at today's gold price. All the gold bugs or, or people who are just invested in gold futures or whatever, uh, what are you guys looking at in the price of gold? Do you think it's going higher over the next year or do you uh, think uh, we might actually see more pullback? I actually think that uh, long term we'll definitely see it go higher. The fundamentals are there. There's just there's, there's too many uh, reasons to expect gold to go up over long term. But short term, it can be quite volatile, uh, as we've seen this year and, and the last year and a half. Um, concern about uh, whether the uh, Fed will end their quantitative easing, what real interest rates will do. Those can have short term pressure on gold price, but long term between 
uh, deficit spending and the likelihood of inflation over time, uh, the rise of the Asian consumer, central bank buying, which I don't see ending anytime soon. I think we uh, have a very positive market. All right, Chuck. Well, thanks for hitting a range of issues with us today. <laughs> Thank you.